Manuela Marcajani from Isomer Skincare. Today, I'm going to spend some time going over a lot of the questions that you've been asking me. So we're going to go through them step by step, one by one, and I hope you enjoy this presentation. For your skin type at your age, it's really important to think about a few things. First of all, at 73, you know, anytime we're over 60, we start to lose a lot of fat underneath the skin. So I really urge you to think about redensifying your skin because that's going to help with the sagging. So you want to use the redensify bring that volume back to the skin. That's gonna help with the sagging skin. It's gonna help with the jawline as well. It's also going to help fill in that uh, face and cheek area because that's what you really wanna do. So the Redensify for the volume. And then for the puffiness under the eyes, there's a couple of things. First of all, the Fast Lift Eye Serum for the eye area is a must. I use it all the time, been using it for over 20 years and my eyes don't have puffiness or dark circles. I don't have milia. So that's really important. The other thing is try not to use anything with oils underneath the eyes because that's going to actually stretch the skin and give you more crepiness. The other thing is I want you to be able to put on the Fast Lift Eye Serum a couple of times a day and just circle your eye, just do a gentle massage maybe three to five times while you're applying it and just really pump up that lymphatic drainage for that eye area. So that should take care of your puffiness should take care of the sagging and overall skin tone. Frowning. Frowning around the mouth area. That becomes a big issue, especially as we get older. We get that resting, nasty face. Um, anyway, what happens is, when we talk about expression lines, we talk about the fact that the muscle and skin is attached. So that means the muscle and skin is attached around the eyes, on the forehead, around the mouth, and on the neck. So when you start frowning, it is all, not only is it your skin, it's also your muscle. So you want to actually have a two-pronged approach. First of all, actually, let's make it a three-pronged approach. Let's make it really, really good. First of all, you're going to want to use something that's going to address the skin. The best formula for the frown, for that kind of wrinkling and for that collagen support is going to be the Matrixel 4. That one contains the Matrixel Morphomics and that's designed specifically for that in mind. The second is you're going to want to use something with acetyl hexapeptide or cynic in it. That is for those expression lines because you want to work on calming that muscle area. So mix your Matrixel 4 with your acetyl hexapeptide. And finally, if you can, either one, do a bit of a massage on that muscle a couple of times a week, or two, use our roller. We do have a roller for the eye area. It is a small roller. I cheat, I use it around the mouth as well, and I think you should do that just to elongate that muscle and bring that smile back. To even out skin tone, African American skin or Caucasian skin, we actually uh, don't use skin bleach or skin whiteners. We don't go in and fool around with the melanin. That's really good, that's good news. Why that means our formulas are universal, that means our formulas are also very custom oriented. Our formulas are designed to work with your melanin, my melanin in mind, okay? So this is really important. What we wanna do is we wanna bring the skin back, we wanna activate the melanin properly, if it's hyperactive or not active at all because of UV. So I would, for anybody, would recommend the vitamin C serum, amazing, to really help even out skin tone. The Illuma Bright System, which is part of the vitamin C, that's based on mushroom extract. That is going to actually help with that melanin. It's called melanogenesis. So you want to work on the melanin that way. So those would be my best recommendations. The other is to use the retiniacin at night. At nighttime with the retiniacin, that's gonna go in, it's gonna help clean up any residual imperfections or UV uh, irradiation that's causing a little bit of this melanogenesis. And then finally, always. So you're going to use you know, something like vitamin C or the Illuma Bright in the daytime. Glutathione is another good one. 
At nighttime, you're gonna to want to use the Renogenesis, okay? That's really important. And again, you can use the vitamin C or the glutathione on top of the retinicin at night. And then also one other step is in the daytime, you must, if you're really serious about evening out your pigmentation, working on the melanin, is wear a sunscreen. Our sunscreen with UV pearls, that is one that I would recommend because it sits on top of the skin. It's not going to allow any kind of that modulation of the melanin. Think about pigmentation or any kind of effect on the skin where the skin tone isn't the same. Think about it as a memory for the skin. And if you do all this work with your skincare, daytime and nighttime, but then expose your skin to the UV, you're not breaking the memory bond. You want to cut that communication. So think about completing the sequence. Use your skincare, use your sunscreen sunblock. That should start getting everything working better and that should show up as much more even skin tone without bleaching, without serious side effects. Our most moisturizing eye cream would have to be the uh, Mesmerize eye formulation. Mesmerize is going to contain quite a few different actives for that eye and complete eye area and it's going to have the best moisturization because it is in a serum cream format with lipids. Our Moss Cell Tech Accelerator Serum has been getting a lot of questions because it is so innovative. First of all, there are no plans to create any more Moss Cell Tech formulations in the line, so that is a standalone serum technology. It is a fantastic serum technology because it can do many things. First of all, if you use it on its own, on clean skin, it is a dedicated cleanser. It goes into your skin and it works on renewing, cleaning, detoxifying. It is known to really help with the nucleus of the cell. So when your cell actually builds up plaque, this is supposed to go in and clean that out. Think about fuel injection for your car or think about an engine cleaner. It's going to go in and it's going to allow the car to perform better, we want your cell to perform better. So inside your cell, inside the nucleus, if it builds a plaque and it can't actually transport the nutrients and get rid of the toxins, you want something to go in and clean it up. So that's like exfoliating from the inside. That's the moss cell in its initial delivery. Secondly, if and when you mix the moss cell with other serums, it creates a liposome or delivery system which means it's gonna bring your product in a little bit deeper and a little bit better. So it can be used in conjunction to accelerate. Accelerate the penetration or accelerate the recovery or results of your serums. And finally, one of the beautiful things that Moss Cell Tech does, because Moss in itself is an extremophile, billions of years old, can survive on rocks with very little oxygen, with very little nutrients, because it's able to create its own aquaporin system. This is going to really go in and hydrate at multi-levels, which gives you a deep moisturization and a multi-level moisturization, which means that you see this plumping action or reorganization of your skin. So to make it simple, Moss cell on its own, think about it as a cell turnover, cell cleaner. Moss cell with serums, think about it as an accelerator and a delivery. And moss overall, think about it, that aquaporin system for great irrigation and hydration of the skin. Uh, the moisturizer that you could use with the Orchid Stem Cell Boot Camp depends on what you want to do with your skin. If you want to just amplify the moisturization, Forever Youth is a really good moisturizer. If you want to work a little bit more on the collagen and moisturization, then use the Matrixel Advanced. If you actually want to turbocharge the tightening and firming, and get more benefits out of the telomeres, then you would use the Renovage as your moisturizer. So the choice is yours, depending on the actual outcome you want for your skin.
Redness and sensitivity seems to be a very common problem. So, and, and you really want to deal with redness and sensitivity as early as you can because we find that redness or sensitivity tends to creep or it tends to grow. It seems to, it tends to expand. So it's really good to address it. First thing you want to do is check out what you're using on your skin. Make sure you're not using anything harsh. Make sure that you're not using, you know, products that are too fragrancy and make sure you're not using water that's too hot on your skin and don't scrub your skin. Product wise what I would recommend is I would recommend using our ceramide serum. That's for anti-redness. That's going to help with the barrier function. You want to also use the triactive microbiome because again that's also going to boost your uh, defense mechanism of your skin. And the universal serum for redness and sensitivity happens to be the stem genesis, which is also very important. So combining those three or isolating using one of the serums and that triactive microbiome should really help take the red out, calm the skin, and really turn that around. Cocktailing is something that we really like to do with our skincare. I know, it's, it's so much fun to be chemist and actually to play with the formulas at home. So um, the vitamin C is one that we're getting a lot of questions on cocktailing with. First of all, our vitamin C, when you take it out of the bottle, it's gonna look a little oily or feel a little oily. There's no oil in it. It's called ethylation. We have taken the vitamin C and it is an ethylated version of vitamin C. This actually helps with the penetration of the vitamin C. It allows it allows it to stay fresh, it allows it to stay viable, if you will, useful in a formula. So you want that vitamin C in that ethylated format. Once you put it on your skin, I love it because it allows for a play time. You can massage that into your skin and it's going to give you really good slip. If you want to mix the vitamin C with the matrixyl, with the glutathione, with your caviar noir, just think about equal uh, equal amounts, okay? One drop of each or two drops of each, mix them together, create this really nice little cocktail in your hand, apply it to your skin, work it in, and you're done. I want you to use Grey Gone on your scalp. So where you see your white hair, where you notice that your hair is getting white in those areas, you don't necessarily put the Grey Gone on the hair because that hair has actually come through and that technically is dead. So you actually want to put the Grey Gone on the scalp in that area and massage it in. So it doesn't matter if you color your hair or not because it's all going to be about that regrowth coming in with the Grey Gone. Secondly, if you want to also work on the gray and stimulate hair growth, then mix your gray gone with the hair reclaim or the hair serum. Um, you can do it two ways. You can mix them in the palm of your hand and apply. I find that a little tricky, so how I would do it is I would actually apply the hair reclaim first in those areas where I want, massage it in, and then I would apply the Grey Gone in the areas that I want and massage it in. Simple, and also I, I, I consider it that way too because I usually apply my Grey Gone or my hair reclaim with the pipette, I, with the dropper itself, and so I don't put it on my hands, and that's why I consider, use one, targeted areas, massage it in, use this part of your finger, don't use your nails, okay? And then put the second one on, massage it in, and you're done. They both can be used um, after you wash your hair. Put it in, leave it in, or, and you could use them at night before going to bed. Okay, so that's a wrap uh, for our very first Q&A video tutorial presentation. Um, let us know what you think. I look forward to your comments and questions. And uh, if you have other comments and questions that you want us to address, please let us know. I look forward to talking to you again very soon. Have a great day.